Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel. And today we're gonna answer the question, why does Jeremy have a janky green screen behind him? Okay, so today we are gonna take a look at setting up green screens for OBS in Linux. Now, there's a couple things you need to make sure. Obviously, if I were gonna be doing this more regularly, I just don't have the space to set up a green screen regularly. I would want to have this nice and tight. Any shadows or anything like that is gonna potentially cause an issue when you key out the green. Um, also, you need to make sure it's lit pretty well. Um, it's lit okay, it's really not lit that well. <laughs> but there are some thresholds you can mess with in the filter, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that right now. If you are wanting to be able to do this as well, something else you need to make sure you have is you need to make sure you have the OBS plugins installed on your OBS install in Linux. I'm using Endeavor OS. I'm using OBS Studio 27.2.3-1. There is a filters tab on OBS. You click it with the source that you've selected. Uh, my camera is selected and I have these effect filters. Uh, you can go through and add. If you see right here, if I go to add, there's applying LUTs. There are chroma keys, color corrections, color keys, crop pad, dedicated NDI output. I have installed NDI, I use NDI up at work, so I thought I'd See how it would work here. Masking, Luma keys, etc. These filters are ready for you to use. So if you click on the chroma key like I have here, there are some selections over here in the middle. You've got your key color type. Obviously, I'm going to select green, but you have blue, magenta, or a custom, which will essentially color pick the backdrop there. So if I do this, go here, then you select the color. Okay, not hard green, and then you've got your piece here. Now, when I unhide this selection, you see how it turned gray. All I'm doing is hiding and unhiding here. You can see the gray. If I mess with the similarity here, you can see things coming away. And if I add <laughs> more of a threshold, you can see what happens there. Essentially, that's where if some of these fold, so technically right over in here, you can see this fold causing some issues. I can pull it out a little more and hopefully my hands are still in there. Boop, 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 boop. All right, then you have your smoothness here. Oh, oh, and there you go. I always check with some movement. And I also need to check with my shirt, make sure that it's not getting keyed out. Then you have your key color spill reduction. Okay. Oh, you can use that as kind of like a fine tuning, if you will. And so you become less one color. Um, the green that I'm choosing right now becomes less one color, helps smooth it out. Then opacity and contrast and brightness and gamma and all that kind of stuff. So now I have that chroma set. Then you work. So what does that look like on its own? I'm going to move this off the screen and I am going to select just myself. And so right now I'm just a black backgrounded rectangle. So that's fine and all, but if I do the desktop with my face and I add in, look, now I'm green screened. I am green screened out, chroma keyed out. I can move my position. Now I'm over here. And as long as I'm within the range of my camera, I'm good. But you can see here, my arm is going out. That is the limitation of my shot, which if I wasn't chroma keyed, that would go out of the shot too. You know, most people who are wanting to green screen themselves out are wanting to live stream a game or a video or something along those lines with the backdrop. Here we go, we're gonna pull up Portal and here I am. Now, if I don't like the way that looks as far as where my position is in the they call this view multi-view. And 
uh, I can see and move myself. Boom, now I'm over here. If you want to see that, I'll show you in just a second. But now, besides my angle, because of how I'm normally recording, I'm set up pretty good and I can play Portal and or whatever game or whatever you want in the backdrop to your heart's content and you're set. So let me quit out of this and I will show you this. Now you're going to get the crazy screen within screen within screen within screen. <laughs> But I did want to show you where you would do this so I can move myself wherever I need to go. And then I can click transition or I can fade it however I need to. And there I am up there. Now I can cut directly to it and now I'm down there. Not hard at all. But if you don't know about chroma keying, then you may not know how to do that or that OBS in Linux can do that. But guess what? It can, it's cool, it's simple, it's easy. Um, you can see here, you've got this effect key chroma. If I hide it, this is what it looks like. When I unhide it, this is what it looks like. Simple, direct, easy way to chroma key, to green screen and pull yourself out into wherever you want to be on your live stream, your Twitch stream, your Facebook live, whatever you're doing. And now I am a part of a concert. <laughs> but you can see, this is great, this is easy. Someone asked if, if I could show them how to do it. Here's how you do it. I hope this helped you out. And I'm gonna do what I can. You know, right now at this stage in my YouTube channel, I'm able to check these comments and uh, respond. So if there's something you would like to see and see if it's possible to do in Linux, let me know and I'll try it. And I may fail, but I'll try it myself. I'm trying to learn here. So thanks for your time. See you later.